Hi Next Squad. So welcome back to my channel here at Chef Nick's Recipe. Thank you guys who have subscribed already and thank you to those of you who are going to subscribe after this recipe. I'm trying to go ahead and make, um, well my goal for this year is actually to get at least a thousand subscribers guys. So just jump on and just help me along that journey. Uh, well, as I was saying, today we're going to be doing um, two dishes. I'm going to be doing my Jamaican um, brown stew fish. And that's going to have a lot of veggies, a lot of okra, some pumpkin, um, some carrots. And uh, I'm also going to be doing some um, prawns or crayfish, some crayfish soup. Because my daughter is not feeling well, so I'm going to go ahead and make her some soup. She doesn't eat fish, but she does eat sh shellfish. Um, and the trick about it is that for the um, soup, I'm not going to be using the fish tea for her, seeing that she doesn't, she doesn't like fish. I'm going to be mixing some of the pumpkin soup as well as some of the, um, the cock soup. And that will give her a flavor, a nice flavor that she'll enjoy. So come along with me and let's see. Let's learn to prepare some amazing dishes today. Jamaican um, stew fish, brown stew fish, Jamaican crayfish soup. All right, guys, so this is the spread of veggies that we're going to be using for our brown stew fish today. Um, we're going to be using some okras, um, some carrots, onion, garlic, or sweet peppers, or bell peppers and tomato, scallion, and um, thyme, and of course a little bit of butter, not seasoning, but yeah, it's gotta be in there. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and slice up our, um, our veggies and then we'll come back. I'll show you how I season my fish as well. All right, so this is the fish that we're gonna be using today. Um, they're all a snapper. This is um, a rock snapper, I think, and these are red snappers, right? And those are what we're going to be using for our brown stew fish. Okay, so this is the spread that we do have for our crayfish soup. Um, those are our crayfish or prawns. And uh, this is what makes them a bit different from lobster. They're much smaller and different from shrimp as well right so as you can see those are what we're going to be using um we're going to be putting in some pumpkin some this is irish potatoes some kale skeleton thyme pepper and i made some spinners um dumpling to put in there for her as well and we're going to be flavoring with her cock soup and um pumpkin soup and that's, those are just the grease brand guys right all right so guys we're gonna go ahead now and get ready to season our fish and we're gonna be mixing our seasoning that we're gonna use on our fish i know a lot of persons only use um salt and black pepper but i also like to put a little bit of all purpose and some jerk season in there right i mean i think um no, I don't think. I know that um, cooking is about seasoning and flavor. And if it is that you skimp on the amount of seasoning and flavor that you put in the food, what you're going to get out is a bland tasting food. So I've put, um, this is a one teaspoon, one teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, Half a teaspoon of jerk seasoning. I don't want too much because I don't want it to overpower the fish. And I'm going to be putting in another half teaspoon of um, all-purpose seasoning. And I'm just going to mix all of this in one container together. Sometimes it's so hard to get the seasoning out. Ah. Uh, oh it's just me <laughs> but yeah all right so what we're gonna do with our fish now guys we're gonna go ahead and score the fish the smaller the fish um the less scoring you have to do but the scoring of the fish is to go ahead to allow whatever seasonings that you're gonna be using on the fish to seep into the fish right so we're just gonna do this once And then we'll go ahead and do the rock snapper. A 
and we have scored this uh, three times. So. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna season our fish. And we're gonna ensure that we get the seasoning all over and all into this fish. I'm gonna just go ahead and just rub it in, massage it in there. And then, the inside of the fish. Can't forget the inside guys and some persons eat the fish head so I always season that as well so that they can enjoy it all right so that's for one now for the smaller fish the same step same process Same thing, ensure that the eggs are seasoned. Alright, so now that we have these um, seasoned, we're just going to allow them to marinate a bit um, and soak up that seasoning and I'll come back showing you how I'm going to go ahead and cut up the um, seasoning for that as well as um, the soup. Okay, so let's go ahead guys and get our um, seasonings prepared for our brown stew fish we're gonna go ahead now and um, just chop up um, cut up chop up I'm Jamaican guys <laughs> um, our scallions so just ensuring that's clean properly I've already washed all of these that's why they're in the colander there and we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut that scallion up and we're using all of the skillet guys you just know that you clean off all of the um, dried up portions and ensure that it's all white um, at the top and green or red if it's the one from the red onions and add that so we're gonna put our skillet on the plate and then we're gonna move on to our next um, item which is gonna be our tomato and what I did with the tomato guys um, realized that this this angle wasn't so good or so clear to show you exactly how i cut the um tomatoes up but i basically went on the side and then went through and diced them diagonally um so i cut it into four and then i cut it into strips from there right so that's a half a tomato that i had from earlier i'm gonna go ahead now and just Use my whole tomato. You can kind of see it here with this one. Now I turn it up, cut it into four, and then I just put it down and slice it. So I'm basically still slicing the whole tomato. I didn't uh, break it into portion to slice it up. And guys, it doesn't have to be even and pretty and all of that. Well, pretty, yes, because people eat with their eyes. But in regards to the seasoning, just ensure that you're using adequate seasoning that your food um, can simmer in that and just have that taste and that flavor. Because at the end of the day, the, the, the food is all about what you season it with and how you season it, right? How long you allow it to marinate, what you put together. Um, that's, that's why I know that food, com food and taste go and in and used to watch my mother when me younger as me tell you guys my mother the best chef me ever know she season her food so i come do the same thing i season my food and i find that when i season my food my food tastes 
damn good. And if it tastes damn good, why well, may I stop? No reason to stop. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut up our onions there. And now we have our sweet peppers as well. Guys, I don't remove the sweet pepper seed. Um, my mom, again, um, taught me that this has so much flavor. My mom and my brother. So when I was at the restaurant um, a couple of years ago, um, yeah, I realized that they didn't discard the seed. They use it in the rice and peas. I used to use just a piece of the sweet pepper. But I start using the seed now in my rice and peas. And I use it in my stews as well so we're gonna be using the seed in the stew as well for this um, brown stew fish and you may be hearing my grandbabies in the background um just excuse that right so i'm gonna go ahead and have some garlic prepared as well all right um sometimes this is supposed to be easy guys i pressed it down and thing but uh, all right so here we go gonna chop it up next one is this is much easier this was um, broken down enough when I squeeze it with the um, knife and guys I got this um, chef knife at Bashko I think it was for like a thousand dollars or so I really love it but I think it needs to be sharpened now All right, so put our garlic there and we're moving on now to our scotch bonnet pepper our habanero pepper you know that this is one of the hottest peppers in the world guys so if it is that you don't really like your food spicy you can leave some of this pepper out all right but for me i really love spicy food um so and i'm the one having this fish me and my daughter so my little daughter and she kind of likes spice as well so i don't really have an issue um adding that pepper but if you do you can always omit it all right so i'm just gonna flip my board over and i'm gonna move on to the vegetables all right so we're gonna go ahead and peel our carrots All right, so guys, let me know um, what you'd like to see me cooking. Um, and I'll go ahead and have that prepared for you. As you know, I love um, Chinese and um, Jamaican dishes. Also, I do anything. So if it is the, if there's a dish out there that you like, um, you can just ask me and I'll try to go ahead and prepare it. Even though I am extremely good at um, Jamaican and Chinese food. All right, so... We've gone ahead and cut up our carrots. And now we're going to move on to our pumpkin. Alright, so we just slice it i don't know what's happening there guys but uh, as i tell you my knife um wants to sharpen so i'm gonna have it sharpened sorry i don't want the pumpkins that the pumpkin as big as that i'm just gonna go ahead and for each one that i sliced i'm gonna go ahead and cut it into smaller pieces so into halves And guys, this brown stew um, is going to be so delicious. I mean, like, I really love adding pumpkin um, to my brown stew fish. It gives it that color, that extra vegetable, that taste, that flavor. Um, if you don't um, use pumpkin in your brown stew, you can try it and then let me know how, um, how you like it, right? But yeah, I'm going to go ahead now with the okras and uh, we trim the top part of the okras as well as the bottom part 
um, you don't necessarily have to trim your uckers if you don't want to you can just go ahead and wash them but I prefer to go ahead and um, trim mines right and just we're gonna just gonna go ahead and cut these up and add them to the rest of our veggies and we're using about um, six okras for this we used about um, a half cup of uh, pumpkin we used three stalks of skeleton as you can see that's probably a quarter cup um, of skeletons um, we used two onions um, a half a scotch bonnet pepper and that's a yellow scotch bonnet pepper because we want to eat um, and we used one um, medium-sized carrot right Um, some of these okras, just cutting them, I feel like they're going to be a bit hard. But let's see. Let's see um, how exactly it goes with that. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, put that together. And we're going to clean up and come back ready to start on our um, um, crayfish soup. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and um, start on our Irish potatoes, and the Irish potatoes um, is going into the crayfish soup, and we're just dicing them. All right, so we're gonna go down the middle, then rest it. Take off that extra piece that's not peeled properly, and we're gonna go ahead and just cut it along think you're able you're better able to see exactly what I'm doing here guys all right and we slice it in the middle and put it on the flat part because that will hold it firm so it won't move around like how our pumpkin was dancing a while ago <laughs> all right so pumpkin And this is a light um, tea. It's more of a crayfish tea than a crayfish soup. Because in Jamaica, our soup is so thick and rich and meaty. Um, but because this is for my daughter and she's just not feeling well. And I don't want to give her something that's going to rest heavily on her stomach. I'm just going to just go ahead some Irish, some pumpkin. I wanted to do some spinners, but yeah, I'm not going to do the spinners. Um, well not gonna do the spinners guys i'm sorry um the final two well two okras for this because she's she doesn't like okra she doesn't like fish she likes shrimp she like um prawns she like lobster but she just does not like fish fish all right so we're gonna go ahead cut up our kale and guys we're gonna add the kale last because it's like it takes like five minutes to cook and we do not want to um, overcook it so we just add it in the pot as we turn off the stove okay all right so now that we're done with our veggies we're gonna move on to just um, seasoning our prawns and guys it's quite important to season um, your prawns because the thing about it is we're layering um, flavor and taste in our pot right so if it is that you don't go ahead and add seasonings to every layer of your food to get that final taste and that final wow factor that you're looking for, when you end up with a bland tasting dish at the end and you said, oh, you know, I had gone ahead and I've added seasoned the pot, but the meat wasn't seasoned or the crayfish wasn't seasoned, not, not, it, it was just the, the, the soup, the water. So you taste, taste the soup and the soup tastes good, but everything else is just bland, you know? So... Just season your dish as you go along, guys. Um, check everybody. Check every chef. They say the same thing. So we're just going to go ahead and clean up, guys. And we're getting ready to start cooking our meal. Alright, again, we have our Irish or kale and our Irish kale and pumpkin and our seasoned prawns and guys that's in the back right there all right so here we go guys we have our water 
our water is on the stove um just getting hot for our um crayfish soup right so we're gonna be adding a little bit of salt but not too much about a um, teaspoon and a half of salt um, because we're gonna be using the pumpkin soup mix the grace pumpkin so soup mix and the grace cock soup mix and those are quite and salty going on their own and, adding salt. and they'll add flavor oil, with a us small over amount salt. of oil if it is that so at the end um, when I'm doing my final tasting if it, if it needs a a little bit more salt then I'll just go ahead and add that at the end but I don't that want it a salty dish so I'm just gonna go ahead cover um, to get that and have it um, hot. come to a boil and then we're going so to that we can cook our soup all right so we're getting our pot hot our frying pot hot, hot for and it's a nasty frying pot um guys right this is getting hot for our um fish into the oil You should smell that, guys. Mm. It smells so good. We're just gonna allow those to fry. <laughs> Infuse the oil with our garlic. We're gonna go ahead and add our snapples so that we can have those fried. And we're frying them dry on both sides, guys. So you need about five, five minutes on five to seven minutes on the smaller ones, and then for the bigger one, which is the rock snapple, about ten minutes, and then we flip it to the other side, ten minutes. The thing with this, because we're shallow flat frying, and the the rock snapper is such a thick fish. Um, once it is that I remove the other two from the oil, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt my frying pot so that the oil will be covering the um, underbelly of the rock snapper so that it can be fried properly. And guys, um, I did not take my garlic out of the pot here. Um, I'd advise you to go ahead and take it out. I just forgot. I put it to the side and I normally take it out afterwards, but I forgot. I remove it. If, if you don't eat garlic but if you do um because it gives this nice um kind of flavor to the fish as well if you leave it but it's your choice i'm not really a garlic lover so i would remove it okay so we're gonna go ahead now guys and we're gonna flip our fish um over and we're gonna have it fried on the other side um as well and see it's coming along for all three can't wait to finish this brown stew i'm so hungry guys you should smell it in here my gosh mm, smells like i'm at elsha beach guys wish you could be here too now that our water has come to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and add our Irish potatoes and pumpkin so that um, and allow it to cook before I go ahead and add my prawns. Almost done guys. Alright, so um, a good thing about this soup guys is that it's not as... Um, it's not as thick so seeing that she's not feeling well it will rest well on her stomach it won't be too heavy for her and that's what i'm going for with this so we're just gonna allow that to cook let's check on our fish guys um seems to be fried for the most part but i'm a bit concerned about the rock snapper so i'm gonna go ahead and tilt my frying pot 
to one side where all the oil is accumulated over there and I'm just gonna press that down a bit to ensure that it is fried inside and out even though I'm gonna go ahead and cook it down in a brown stew sauce all right guys so we're gonna go ahead take a look at what kind of soup that's our German can crazy soup and our veggies are cooking nicely just gonna go ahead cover that and allow it to cook for another five minutes and, uh, and then we'll come back and add our prawns or our crayfish okay so our oil is hot enough you can see how the steam is coming off we're gonna go ahead and add our seasonings first on my blog so you'll see that link in the description bar um, so you can check it out okay and ensure to go ahead and just sign up for my email listing so you can know when it is that I post all right so we added some soy sauce guys for color and it's now time to go ahead and allow this to cook and we want our seasonings and our veggies to start to cook um, about you know about that um, a seven minutes um, of cooking before we go ahead and add our fish to this all right so let's go ahead have this covered after we have added our skeleton and thyme and a couple pimento seeds you see those bubbles guys Mm. and the thing about a brown stew fish guys it really doesn't take that long to cook it you just need to fry fry your fish and then cook it down it's all about the flavor it's all about just the sauce the sauce i would say is the most difficult part but then again it's not difficult so all right so let's check on our crayfish soup see we went ahead and we added our kale and our crayfish to that soup Oh wow, in my house smells like I'm on the beach guys, smells like I'm on the beach. And there we go, scotch bonnets, just nice and ready for the plate. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so going to enjoy some of this as well. And the recipe for the um, crayfish soup will also be on my blog, guys. And be sure if you have not hit that subscribe button already, go ahead and subscribe. And there we go. Now we have added our um, fish to our sauce. And we're just going to allow this to um, simmer in the sauce on a low for another five to seven minutes and what i'm doing i don't really turn my fish um i'll just scoop up some of the gravy on my spoon and pour it over because i want my fish to stay in talk i don't want it to break but with how the fish is fried still it's hard for it to break that way and guys voila look at this it's the final plating of our prawns wrong one oh. all right so we're gonna go ahead and add some all-purpose seasoning to that stir that in mm. guys i keep telling you about the smelling here my gosh I really enjoy cooking guys let me know if you guys enjoy cooking too and trying new things you can just go ahead and comment too, and uh, I'll respond to you guys all right so just having that um, kind of sorting so that the veggies can become soft and pliable and all of that 
guys, what you prefer? Like steamed fish or brown stew fish? Cause or escovitch fish. So we're adding a cup of water, guys. I personally just love fish. So if I go out and I'm eating out, I prefer to order a steamed fish because I think I get more value for my money other than an escovitch fish. And not everybody can do a good brown stew sauce as well. So I try to keep it safe. Alright, so now that we have our water added, guys, um, we're just gonna go ahead and stir. And we want our veggies to cook um, until this actually, this liquid is gonna change color somewhat because it's gonna draw some color from the um, carrots and the pumpkin. And we'll have our veggies cook for another, for about 10, 10 minutes before we go ahead and add our fish. And when we add our fish, we're just gonna have everything cook another 10 minutes, simmer down another 10 minutes, right? So we're adding our Aunt Vi ketchup, guys. Aunt Vi ketchup is the bomb. Guys, I was diarted to grease. I would not use any other ketchup. But what I find with Aunt Vi is that it has a sweeter base. And it doesn't give my dishes this tangy flavor that I have to be trying to fix with ketchup, with um, sugar and so. So I really do um, recommend Aunt Vi ketchup above Carl's ketchup. Like, guys, don't give me Carl's ketchup none at all. It's either Aunt Vi or Grace ketchup. Alright, so we're gonna add a little bit of our grace fish tea soup mix that we have. And this was left over from the last time I cooked, but it's just enough seasoning in there that will be um, enough for my fish. And this will give it a nice um, fishy flavor, guys. You know what the fish tea does if you have used the grace fish tea before, guys. I mean, grace have this market lock. Their, their, their noodle line, their soup mix line is a bomb. It is a bomb. Alright, so a little bit of black pepper, guys. And black pepper and fish goes well together just like our lime and fish go, go together. Alright, some sugar, guys. And this is about a teaspoon of sugar that I'm adding um, to. And that will help um, to put, you know, the salt and the sugar work together to put everything, just to bring everything together and to give that perfect, perfect taste. A little bit of soy sauce. I'm going to add a little bit more as well. But I just, I prefer to put in a little and then add as I go along because, guys, liquid salt certain things sugar you can't take it back out you can always add a little bit more or a lot more but you can never take it back out all right so everything is coming together nicely guys look at that look at that awesome <laughs> so let's go mm -mm -mm. Can you just imagine when this finish guys and i'm going to have it with some some vegetable rice and a little bit of you know lettuce and tomato on the side oh, belly full all right so we we'll add some skeleton on time guys and we're gonna add a few pimento seed about six of them And uh, I didn't crush the pimento in this, guys. But normally, what I would do is to go ahead add the pimento to a bag or something. Probably one a sachet bag that I use for the seasoning, and I'll just go ahead and get something to crush it out. And then I'll have the pimento powder and I'll add the pimento powder to the fish. All right, so mm, crayfish soup with kale, guys. Look at that. My soup is basically ready. Turned off the stove on that. Just turn it in to show you guys what it looks like at this point. But um, you should smell this house. Elsha, you don't have anything for me today. Nothing at all. Guys, look at that. It's just wonderful. Okras, Irish pumpkin. Yeah, and I'm going to remove those um, skeleton and thyme um, from the pot, guys. Um, and because we like spicy food and my daughter loves spicy food, I'm going to give her a bit more pepper. So I'm going to burst the pepper in this for her. Fish, guys. Mm, coming together perfectly. Look at all of those veggies, guys. All the nutrients that you need in your body. The mean, the food groups, guys. This have 
everything you're not missing out on anything it's gonna be so delicious